Hey, Joshua here. Kylie and I just got back from Wanderfoot Adventure number one. We have been on the road for about four months and made it up to Seattle. It's about as far north as we made it, and now we're uh, safe and sound back in sunny San Diego. Um, and while I was on the road, you know, I was interviewing the artists and the amazing people that we would find at the places that we were visiting and asking them what inspires them and what they do. And sometimes they would turn around and ask me, um, you know, what inspires me. And so I've been reflecting on that for a little bit and have come up with like two different things. Number one, uh, being passion. The, the people who I had the opportunity to talk to, every one of their stories, you know, was so unique and so different. But just that driving passion that was behind all of them and the sacrifices that they were willing to make to, to see their dreams come true. Uh, for example, one gentleman I was speaking with told me, I mean, he lived in his car for years, then he lived in a, a little shack in kind of a bunk and bathed out of a bucket for about five years. <laughs> and um, just uh, what, what he was willing to do and what so many of the people I met were willing to do to really see, see their dreams come to true to fruition. Um, and another thing with that is nobody, nobody told me, you know, I'm doing this for the money. Like that was, that was a really refreshing thing to see. It's just, it was coming from their heart. It was something that drives them from the inside and just seeing people living their truth and their passion was so inspiring. Um, and number two, number two, um, is purpose. The, the purpose behind a lot of the work and the places that we got to visit. Once I, I started to learn about the backstory of, of how, how things came to be, it really inspired me when there was um, a really meaningful purpose behind what was created. And I think in this, in this day and age right now on the planet, there's, there's so many challenges with, you know, whether it's social justice, whether it's environmental concerns, and to see artists and people who are creating these amazing spaces that we got to visit that have a, you know, whether it's a political purpose behind what they're creating or a message they want to share, you know, taking care of the planet, using recycled materials, um, just a myriad of different things. But that was another thing that really inspired me was when I saw the purpose behind the creativity that was being shared with me. Um, for example, um, the tree houses up, up outside of Seattle, you know, at first maybe you see them and you're just like, oh, these beautiful, amazing tree houses, which they are. And, um, but then if you watch like a little video, I watched a video from Pete Nelson who created, created the tree houses and you hear him explain how, how he really wants humans, people to connect uh, back to nature and realize, um, you know, we are nature and there's not so much separation and, you know, hopefully that helps people realize to take care of our environment. So it's stories like this, that kind of understanding the backstory and what has created whatever we were seeing uh, that really inspired me. So uh, that's, that's about it for now. Um, we will begin planning adventure number two sometime soon. And, you know, we'll be looking to kind of grow our Wanderfoot team as to what the scouts that are out on the, ro out on the road. Um, we see this being a very, I mean, worldwide project. So we'll need scouts and hosts and cameramen, camera women, camera people um, from all over. So if, uh, if you're interested in, you know, exploring the world in search of really inspiring people, places and things, uh, get in touch with us and uh, we can start the conversation as our team grows and as we plan uh, future adventures. Uh, you can email us at adventure at wonderfoot.com. So that's it for right now. Thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.